He is the last of the old masters, yet he is the first of the moderns. He was born into a lower middle class family, yet he painted for kings and mingled with the rich. Who is this great and transcending artist? It is none other than Francisco Goya, or just Goya for short. He did indeed paint for the royalty, the nobility, and portraits for those in high places. But after going deaf in his 40s, his works grew dark, and he contemplated the humanity of man and man's inner struggles and character. Then, in his 70s, withdrew from public life, where he painted directly onto his plaster walls. But unlike the commissioned works at the request of his patrons, these private oil paintings were a true and honest glimpse into the inner world, that is, Goya. He also supported the values of reason and the age of enlightenment, but became disheartened by the aftermath of Napoleon's invasion and occupation of Spain during the Peninsular War. In his 60s and disillusioned, he created the Disasters of War, a series of prints detailing the atrocities of war and violence. He was skilled in both painting and printmaking and developed printmaking techniques like etching dry point aqua tint and demonstrated printmaking as modern art. Goya's many original achievements impressed a great admirer of his, Eugene Delacroix, a leader of the Romanticism movement, and his works continue to be admired and influenced realism, impressionism, expressionism, surrealism, and contemporary art of today. So let's create our very own dry point on OHP film like the great Goya.
watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.